Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I hang a lock-on tree stand efficiently and safely. My name is Bobby Kendall. After a decade of playing country music, my family and I moved to West Central Illinois to chase my true passion, giant Midwest whitetail bucks. The whitetail group was born in 2015 and has grown exponentially ever since. We develop properties for the elite whitetail hunting experience. This is not my hobby or even an obsession. This is a lifestyle. My name is Toby Stay. I'm a broker with Land Guys, specializing in the marketing of recreational property. My role with the Whitetail Group is to help identify and design properties that can produce world-class whitetails. This is not a series just about hunting. This is a series about the process of developing farms for hunting. Join us as we document the transformation of some of our project farms from ordinary dirt to extraordinarily productive recreational properties. We are the Whitetail Group. All right, so today I'm using some ladder sticks. I like them because they are easy, quick, everyone can climb them, and there's no damage to the trees, which we like. So what I do is I get all my ladder sticks kind of spread out around the tree. I've got my base against it. I've got my top one buried behind one. <clears throat> and then I take my, uh, I make sure that all my straps are undone. And I always tie them here so that when you go to pull, they don't slip. Um, and then I, uh, I take my lifeline, all right, and I clip my lifeline off to my harness. I take the other end, I tie it to the tree stand. All right, and so this, this uh, system basically only requires me to go up the tree one time uh, with just one person. So start with the top piece. I didn't have that strap undone. But <clears throat> start with the top piece and just start putting them together. I like little details. I like this clip on the backside because I don't like kicking it when I'm going up it, trying to be quiet in the morning. I also like to put the base of these things on my toe because if you just let them sit in the dirt, they get full, filled up with mud a lot of times and then you gotta fight them. And that's the last one there. <laughs> All right, so. Get her where we want it. And I'm right-handed, so I like going around. I like going around the tree from the left side, which is another nice thing about tying it off because you can kind of go either way. Um, this way, once I get her through there with my right hand, I can take it up and I can cinch it better. Alrighty, so now what I'll do, again, my lifeline's tied in my stand. Now I'll take out my Lyman's belt and I'll just start going up her. Again, around the left side. When I pull it tight, I like to grab it with this hand here, and that way it's not slipping down the backside of the tree. And again, now because I'm right-handed and they're all on the right side, I can, it's a lot easier for me to tighten them that way. And also for people who don't use, if you've never used a lineman's belt, I mean, not only is it obviously way safer, but it just makes it so much easier because you're, you know, you're two-handed now, so.
So I just had to unclip my lifeline to get around a branch, which you have to do sometimes. But one thing that you never want to do as you're going up, the next, the next section is never attached. And it's natural to grab a hold of it as you climb up to put these straps on. But I have a few times you put that weight on there and that metal is very thin and it, it'll bend. And I've seen these things just go and bend right over. So when you're going up there, point is, kind of always want to be holding on to the tree, not the metal. The last step of the sticks is really just to kind of tie these things off. I don't like them flapping around in the breeze because when a big deer is coming through here and it's a moment of truth, sure enough, there's gonna be a gust of wind and this thing's gonna flash. Usually I have my little handsaw that's also hanging with a little carabiner off one of my, my loops on my harness. Um, today is one of the first tree stands I've hung of the 2020 hanging season or late winter. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of out of, out of stand hanging mindset, but normally I do have that saw hanging right here. So all this get cut out of the way so I wouldn't have to go back down for a saw. So now, you, most stands, I'd be ready to hoist it up and put it on there. This particular Millennium has a system, a bracket system, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on here first. Drop that. This thing's got a little safety cotter pin. Now what's cool about these Millenniums is they level. All right, you should always I always try and secure the bottom of the stand with some form of a strap because it keeps it from kicking, it keeps it a little more stable. These Millenniums have their own version of that, which is pretty cool. What I like to do is basically lift up a little bit to get some of that pressure off. With this ratchet, it doesn't really matter as much, but when you push it back down, it locks in. So. so we should secure. Pull my lifeline off of there. 
a lot of times it, when I go to transition to put this up higher so I can get in the stand, I'm not clipped in anyway. So if I personally, if I see something like this cable or something I can clip into, I'll usually just clip it just, just so I'm clipped into something. And then once I get back up here high enough, then I will re clip in. And then usually at this point, you gotta let some slack out of this lineman's belt just so you can get in the stand and stuff. These millenniums are pretty big. I try and step close to the tree there for the initial step. All right. Now our lifeline that was our hoist rope comes out. I generally put it about as high as I can reach. You always want it coming straight up your ladder between, or right off the side of it on the tree stand side. Again, cinch it up as high as you can get it to where it naturally wanna lays right down the steps or right down between the steps and the stand. At this point, I take my Beal Dynaclip, which is on my, my harness here. I clip into the lifeline. All right, and now I take my Lyman's belt off. And I'm, I'm now in the, the lineman or the lifeline, which still needs to be tightened at the bottom. But now at least I'm in it and I'm safe to go back down. With this particular stand, this Millennium, it's got ratchet systems. Everything's pretty tight. I kind of knew it would be. Um, it's still worth a, a good set when you get up in it. But the majority of tree stands, what I do is once I get up in and I still have my lifeline or my uh, lineman belt around the tree, what I'll do is I'll put this foot as close to the tree as possible and I'll, I'll hug the tree like this and I'll take my foot in the front of the stand and I'll lift up on it and seat that base. All right, and what that does is when you, it gets the base lower and when you push back down, you can feel it. It just bites into the tree. That's my way of uh, locking them in. Um, so this, this is pretty much done up here. This tree doesn't have a ton of cover, but I have a saying which goes, it's better to be in the wrong tree in the right spot than the right tree in the wrong spot. So. Uh, this is one of them situations that the tree is perfect spot and I can I can work with this and build myself a little nest, bring some cover up here. So I'm gonna get down. And I'm gonna show you the last step, which is tying off this lifeline. So with this system, you're pretty much, you're pretty much locked in at all times unless you have to go around a branch which you could use a double lineman belt if you want it for that extra protection but so a friend of mine is a professional sailor and i asked him one time about a knot to show me a knot that i could really get these things tight with because you want them tight because if you fall you don't want to be swinging or swaying and you don't ever want to grab this thing and have it floppy so the knot he taught me, get a little bit of slack in this top hand and then you pass it under your tag end and bring it back up. All right, so it's like this. And then you, you create a loop up above. And we could probably find this knot on YouTube and put a link, but you pass the tag through the loop and then you start pulling down. All right, and it basically makes, so you essentially make a mechanical, mechanical pulley here. And it gets this thing like, like a guitar tight. 
guitar string tight. You just tie it off. That concludes how I approach hanging a lock-on tree stand. Probably gonna have a lot of questions about this safety harness system I use, so we're gonna do another video on that. And then we'll probably do another video on like the approach to once we know we wanna hang a spot, a stand in, a, in an area, picking the exact tree, and then how we choose what direction that stands face, because it's a, it's a pretty important process. So stay tuned for some more videos. Mm -hmm.